So the other day I was walking around my Walmart and I happened to go to the book section and I found this Lego Fans Guide book. I had never seen this book before so when I saw it I was pretty excited. It looked quite similar to certain Lego books from DK Publishing but I wasn't sure if it was them or not because I hadn't heard that they were coming out with a new book. But sure enough this book is a DK Publishing book. Like a lot of the books I find from DK Publishing they're a little bit pricey unless you can get them on a good clearance at like Costco and stuff like that. But I checked the price anyway and I was amazed at what I saw. This book was only $9.99 Canadian dollar. That's a great value. $9.99 is a really good deal for a Lego book and then when you add Walmart's 40% off Canadian cover price to it, making this book only $6, it was a deal I couldn't pass up. So I picked it up, I did a little reading on it and now I'm ready to review it. I just want to put this little disclaimer out for this video. If you're watching this review to just read the whole book and then not have to buy it, this review isn't for you. I'm basically just going to show you what's in the book and do a little walkthrough and flip through of it. I'm not showing you everything. And I can honestly say this is one of my favorite DK publishing books about Lego yet. Starting out here we have the cover of the book. The title is obviously The Lego Fans Guide and it's Discover the Wonders of the Lego Universe and here's the 40% off sticker for Walmart which I'm going to take off. Underneath that sticker was just more Lego pieces. This book goes from the first brick to the world of the minifigures and here on the front we have a little variety of different things covered in this book. It also says Discover History, learning about the Lego history, the minifigures and then build it. The back has the title again along with some Lego pieces and some minifigures and it says a fact pack guide for brick loving fans of all ages and then here on the back it's got a different variety of some of the different pages in the book and then it's got all this licensing mumbo jumbo opening up the book here it's just got a picture of the Lego architecture line like an advertisement for it and then it says the Lego fans guide moving on it's got the whole table of contents and as you can see there's really a lot covered in this small book here's the classic 2x4 brick here got a little quote there and then it just starts right off by talking into the history of Lego. There's definitely a lot of history to Lego and it talks about how the first wooden toy came to be to the first plastic toy and everything in between. Lots and lots of different Lego related goodness here. As well here is a timeline of the whole Lego company as well as the personal life of the creator. Here it starts talking about the new Lego system and stuff like that. Again, another timeline. It also has one spot on the timeline where it talks about Lego Duplo, Lego Quattro, and Lego Baby. Now I knew about Lego Duplo and Lego Quattro, but I didn't know there was such thing as Lego Baby. The neat thing here is a different variety of Lego catalogs that are shown. There's also a timeline of the more recent Lego news. And it also actually goes up to 2014 when the Lego movie's there, so you know that this is a relatively new book. There's even this really neat page showing all the different Lego logos. Fun fact, the current Lego logo is older than I am. Now the history part of this book is done, and we start right off into talking of how Lego bricks are made. Here in this section they have a bunch of high quality photos showing how Lego is made and the factory of Lego. Next it starts talking about designing Lego sets and they have the different versions of their Lego sets, you know the basic, the 3D rendering of it, which is pretty cool. Next up it talks about Lego play themes and it talks about all the different Lego play themes that have been in Lego form so far. In this page they have a sets to remember page with all the sets that apparently you're supposed to remember. How many sets on this page do you have? We continue talking about the different Lego themes here like Lego trains and Lego castles. And these are more sets to remember. I just watched a really cool video actually on that set by Beyond the Brick. Moving on here we talk about the classic space set and unlike the rest of the book this is black page which looks really good for the classic space theme. Again there are more sets to remember. They do a sets to remember near, towards the end of every theme. Now by turning the book this way you can see the Lego Pirates and all the stuff that the Lego Pirates theme have to offer. They actually don't include the new 2015 Pirate sets in this book. The most recent one is 2009. Skipping ahead a few themes, it talks about Lego Star Wars. On this page it shows a lot of the older Lego Star Wars set and then it goes to a couple of the newer sets here when it changes the background color. Back down to the original color, it starts talking about girl Lego and the Lego that is specifically meant for girls. 
all the way up to friends. Quickly sk skipping over Duplo and Baby, I'm going to move on to the special sets. Here it talks about the LEGO architecture set as well as some of the limited edition sets like here, like the 50th anniversary town plan and others. Next up, it's the Meet the Minifigure section. Here it talks about all the history of the LEGO minifigures and how it came to be, and it shows the different stages that the minifigures took on. Here it just shows another variety of LEGO minifigures, and a little Meet the Non Minifigure section, which is kind of cool. Here it shows how minifigures are made, and it shows some of the design team designing minifigures, it shows the different stages of making the minifigures, it shows printing the minifigures, and this is neat because it's a little template on how what minifigures are being made right that day at the LEGO headquarters. And here it talks about the different minifigure accessories that the minifigures have. And then it actually talks about the minifigures hair and how just there's a lot of different variety talks about how many figures move and how are they are active and there's just a lot of information about minifigures. This section is all about the Lego world and the Lego community. Here they talk a little bit about Lego Land Parks and just the different park designs and what you can find in these Lego Land Parks. And they also talk about this really big arena that's actually at one of the Lego Land Parks, which is really cool and apparently there's over a million bricks in it. They're still really talking about the Legoland parks here and the different builds that you can find in the parks. And then, this is my favorite part of the whole magazine, we have this behind the scenes questionnaire of the Lego Movie. And in this spot, a lot of questions about the Lego Movie have been answered by one of the producers. As well in this section, is there are a lot of cool photos. Now in this section, it talks about the different Lego artwork and how some artists, you know, paint, but Lego artists make their art out of Lego bricks, and it talks a lot about Nathan Sueza here and some different Lego artists. And actually in this spot it actually gives a little insight on Lego fans and some of their creations. And finally in this last section it's the build it section. In this section they just show a variety of different neat little things that you can make from Lego. All of these that I've noticed have been taken directly out of the Lego ideas book. And there's not a ton of things you can build here, just a small little variety for people who just picked up this book. And that is the end of the book. Here we have the DK Publishing Acknowledgement page, as well as a little variety of some of their other books for sale. This is a really cool fan guide, and I'm really glad I picked it up. And at the price of $6, it cannot be beat. I really hope you enjoyed this review by me of this LEGO Fans Guide book. Thank you so much for watching this BrickLover18 YouTube video. If you enjoyed this video, please give this video a thumbs up, comment on this video, as well as share the video with your friends. If you want to see more of my previously uploaded LEGO YouTube videos, check the cards as there's a playlist there featuring all the videos that I've uploaded so far. If you want to see more of my LEGO YouTube videos as I upload them, please click on the subscribe brick and you will subscribe to my channel. Also, if you want to check out more BrickLover18 and LEGO related awesomeness, please check out www.bricklover18.com where you'll find the links to my YouTube, my Instagram, my Twitter, as well as my BrickLink store. Thanks for watching this BrickLover18 video. Stay tuned for all things LEGO by clicking that subscribe brick.